Rub up your engines! CarMax is already buying Tesla Cybertrucks for $25,000 less than what owners paid for them two months ago. I guess the owners are realizing that it's kind of a crappy vehicle. Man, I'm going to get rid of this stupid thing. You know, this is what people really don't understand about the truth about electric vehicles is aside from the coronavirus pandemic where everything was nuts and people were selling used Teslas for more money than a new one because you couldn't get a new one. They didn't have them built. The coronavirus slowed it all down, right? So if you wanted one, you had to buy a used one and people were charging more than a new one cost, right? But those days are gone, right? I'll give you a perfect example from my own experience. I had a guy bring me an electric Volvo, right? It was a $67,500 car and he didn't buy it. He was smart. He leased it, right? So I'm like, yeah, I wonder how these things are going in the market. So I got on my phone. I looked in Nashville, Tennessee, see what's going on. And I found five Volvo electric cars for sale. And the oldest one was only one year old. It had 15,000 miles. I found another one that was a year and a half old at 20,000 miles. They were asking $24,000 for the car. This is a $67,500 car. And they were asking that. Why? They got rid of a car when they only had it for a year, year and a half. Obviously, they did not like the electric car experience, right? I guess people are realizing, she cyber trucks are kind of crappy. They're selling them for that much money less than what they paid for them. I guess they're thinking, handwriting's on a wall. Okay, I'll take a $25,000 bump rather than, well, who knows? I paid hundred grand. Maybe they'll end up going for twenty-five grand. I'll lose $75,000. Get rid of it while, before it's too late, you know? People don't understand. Cars are not an investment. You're always going to lose money unless you buy some oddball gull wing Mercedes or something. And there's eight of them left on the planet or something. Almost every car you're going to buy is an endless money pit in terms of its value. Even the Toyotas, as they get old, their prices go down. It's not this fantasy corona pandemic stuff. Now it's the real world where used cars go for a lot less than new cars do. You try selling a used car yourself, you're not financing it, right? That's why these guys at CarMax can do that. Because they say, okay, we'll give you this for your car. We'll give you 75 grand instead of 100. They take it. If the guy paid cash, they give him the money. If not, they take the note. Try it with an individual. How are you going to find somebody that's got 75 grand to give you? They don't, right? They're going to have to borrow the money or somebody's going to have to loan them the money. Something's got to go on so they can get that money. In places like CarMax sell you a car, they finance it, right? And so the person buying it is only paying so much a month. So you find, how are you going to find somebody on the street that's even going to give you 75 grand for one, right? Because they want to buy one and have a monthly payment. What are you going to sell somebody your car and let them pay you monthly? No, you're not. So the value to an actual individual when they're selling a car is much less than what the car dealers sell them for because they got to mark them up to make a profit. It's a business. And two, the person they're selling it to is going to be paying a note every month. And they actually usually make money on that too because they have deals going with the thing and higher interest rates. And the places that actually sell you a newer used car, they're usually making money, loaning you the money too. At one point in time, General Motors was actually making more money loaning the money to people to buy their cars than they were selling the actual cars themselves. Yes, it's a strange world, but that's the truth. Well, if you think we're going to run out of gasoline, uh, don't hold your breath. There is a drilling boom going on now in Africa. Everybody knows we're going to be using petroleum for quite some time, right? And now they're drilling like mad. Africa is now the world's hottest drilling hotspot. There are 36 high impact wells are going to drill in 2024, which is the highest total since 2014. And Africa is also taking the lead amongst all continents with 13 likely prospects where they're going to get more oil. We're not going to run out of oil anytime soon. And people are investing a lot of money in it because they know people are going to use the stuff. They know electric car is a fantasy that, yeah, hydrogen would be great. So would fuel cell cars. The technology and the infrastructure for any type of fuel that's going to operate them doesn't exist today. I mean, you can even turn petrochemicals into hydrogen and carbon if you want. That's all petrochemicals are. Weird old combinations of hydrogen and carbon elements. That's all that's in it, right? Hydrogen and carbon. If they could figure out how to separate it and then use the hydrogen for fueling cars or fuel cell cars, yeah, that's the, but that technology isn't here today. And let's say if it was, guess what? They're going to be using the oil. <laughs> Anybody that thinks this stuff's going to stop anytime soon is bonkers. It's just booming. And Africa's the newest boom area. Just read a cool article. These are the best EVs we can't get in the United States. You see that little bitty one? Because in Europe, they don't mind 
little cars, those little K cars. Americans are making flagship giant electric vehicles. Look at the stupid Hummer that's like 200 grand up for this monstrosity, right? The Teslas are still pretty heavy vehicles. The Ford F-150 Lightning is a heavy vehicle, big giant thing, right? The Europeans are going the other way, tiny cars. Can't get them in the United States because they know most Americans are not going to buy tiny cars. Generally, if you have a business, what should you start with? Start with small, work your way bigger. Honda started with those tiny little Hondas that had a 550cc twin air-cooled motorcycle engine in it. And now look at the marvelous vehicles they built, right? Start small, build your own. Don't start with a big one and then wonder, God, we get problems. The batteries are heavy. They start on fire. They weigh so much, they eat the tires up. Americans don't like small cars. It's just another reason. Electric cars are not made for America. For Europe, maybe. They're small countries. They're used to small cars. They have no parking. Little bitty cars like the Citroen 2CV and Minis and stuff are really popular there because everything's smaller, right? Doesn't pan out in the United States with big interstate highways. Hooray for Iowa. They are proposing a law in Iowa to ban speed cameras. I think it should be against the law to have a camera give you a ticket. And to some of these people in Iowa, they're mad about it. Turns out that a proposal at the Iowa House is going to ban automatic speed cameras if they get their way. They've got them and they're going to take them away if the law goes through. They did the same thing in Texas when I was there years ago. It was like four years ago or so, I believe. They said, you can't give people tickets with cameras. A lot of times, you don't know who's driving your car, right? If you loaned it to somebody, somebody else is driving it, just takes a picture of the car and the license plate. So, to give you a ticket on your driver's license, and you weren't even driving the car. And the machines screw up all the time. I was reading about the ones in Italy. Sometimes the people didn't get their bill for a speeding ticket from a camera for over a year. You let the bureaucrats take over our society. This is the last thing we want. And you know, guess what? The bureaucrats are in love with things like speed camera. We don't even have to go outside. We can just sit in our comfy little office and have the computers generate millions of dollars in revenue for us, right? People in Iowa, I hope they pass that bill so that they'll ban speed cameras. I hope every state does that, right? You know they'll never do it in New York State because they're so greedy. They want any tax money they can. It's basically a tax thing. And then they say, oh, this prevents accidents. No, it doesn't because you don't even need, no, you're getting a ticket until later. It doesn't prevent anything. And one of the reasons they got rid of them in Texas, especially the red light cameras that gave you tickets, was this. They actually had more accidents because a little old lady would be driving and she'd see the lights turning red. It's yellow. And she knows Oh, the speed camera. So she slams her brakes on it, stops. Billy Bob's behind her in his pickup truck. Boop, boop. He sees the yellow light, he steps on the gas, and they get rear ended. They actually had more accidents that way by having a stupid cameras because the people that are conservative stop too fast, and the people that aren't, because, like I say, it's a camera, it's a computer, it is not a human being. Now, if you did that with the police watching you, you're going to get a massive ticket, you're running to somebody else on the road, yeah, but a camera can't do anything like that. That's why, hey, they want to give tickets, fine, use the police, that's fair and square. Cameras and computers, no, it stinks. And the people in Iowa, hopefully, will get rid of it. Well, you know how they always say uh, everything starts in California and the rest of the nation then follows suit? EV sales are starting to fall in California which, of course, is the industry bellwether. They say, well, as goes California, goes the rest of the nation. Well, now their sales are starting to fall because even there, they're realizing they're stupid ideas, these battery electric cars. Now they have consecutive quarters of falling EV sales in California, and, of course, it could derail the California's wish of zero emission targets by 2035, you know? Even in California, it's not going to happen. You know, they always say, the canary in the coal mine warns you, meaning that when you're a coal mine, if the canary conks out, there's not enough oxygen, you better get out real fast. Well, in this case, California looks like they're becoming the canary in the electric car business saying, well, warning, these things are dying. Hey, better not try to buy them everywhere else. I just find it absolutely hilarious. Even in California, people are rebelling against this electric car nonsense. I read an article the other day that 20% of the people who have bought electric cars in California got rid of them. And they said that they're not going to buy another one anytime in the near future. Look, California is like the rest of this country, baby. People live scattered all over the place. California is an immense state. There are 31.4 million cars registered in California, right? And now the EV sales are going down because those people are just saying, hey, 
hey, I'll go back to a regular car. This is too inconvenient. And this is over a relatively short period of time, right? This is just starting. As they say, as far as I'm concerned, this is the tip of the iceberg because all these electric cars aren't that old, right? Wait till they start to get old and fall apart and people are like, oh my God, it's 20 grand for a battery. Oh my God, I got in a wreck and it's gonna cost me 18,000 to fix it because it's an electric car and the electric stuff got all damaged. Then nobody knows how to fix it and they don't have parts for them. I've had people have electric cars and they couldn't get it fixed because they no longer make the battery for that particular car. Even the companies that make them, they change their design and they stop the previous battery design. You can't buy them because because they didn't make their own batteries, they bought them from other companies, right? And once they go to a different battery design to that other company, why would it continue to make a battery for a car they don't make anymore? They stop making the battery, right? I find it hilarious. The sales are going down. The canaries starting to pass out in California and electric cars are starting to go away into the sunset. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.